fruit you must eat is the fruit of your what? Please subscribe to the Demon Fruitful channel. In Proverbs chapter 13, verse 2, the Bible talks about us eating the fruit of our lips. The first fruit God wants you to eat is the fruit of your mouth. The fruit of your mouth. If you are a Christian, you must understand that the strength of God is his word. Psalm 138 verse 2. He said, I have exalted my word above my name. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. The grass may wither, the flower may fade, but the word of God abides forever. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 verse 12. The word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. The Trinity. God the Father. The Son and the Spirit. They speak. They are, they are talkers. They speak. In Luke chapter 7. Verse 22. When Jesus was speaking, the Bible says the people wondered. They say his words are gracious. In verse 36 of Luke 7, the Bible says when he spoke, they said, Ah, what a word is this. In Luke 24, verse 49, describing Jesus, they said, He was the man mighty in words deeds word if you are not a believer that is speaking you don't look like God in first Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 the Bible says and the spirit speaketh expressly in Isaiah 30 verse 21 is that thou shalt hear a voice behind thee saying this is the way walk in it tell somebody god speaks i can't hear you i can't hear you say to five people god speaks say to five people god speaks the holy ghost when god speaks it stands as the believer the strength of your life is the word from your mouth it doesn't matter what you see in your life if it is negative refuse to say it out if you see battles refuse to say it out the bible gives us several references on the power of words jesus speaks in john 6 63 jesus said the words that i speak unto you they are what so god wants you to speak in numbers chapter 14 verse 28 the bible says surely as i live said the lord as you have spoken in my ears so will i do as you have spoken you see problems hey, hey, it will kill me god say so will i do Hey, hey, poverty. God says, so will I do. But also, if you speak positive. In Psalm 19 verse 14. It's the let the words of my mouth. And the meditation of my heart. Be acceptable. In Luke. In Luke 21. Verse 15. The Bible says, I give unto you a mouth and a wisdom that your adversary cannot gainsay or resist. What are you saying? Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 2. Thou art snared by the words of your mouth. What are you saying? Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12, verse 35. He said, every idle word that a man speak, he will give account. Verse 36. Matthew 12, 36. 
then verse 37 says for by your words you are condemned by your words you are justified in psalm 34 verse 12 he said which man wants to see many days and have a good life verse 13 he said let him keep his lips from speaking evil in james chapter 1 verse 26 he said if you say you are a religious man and you cannot control your mouth your religion is in vain in psalm 34 verse 1 david said i will bless the lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth how you control your mouth that's how you control your life in psalm proverbs rather chapter 13 verse 3 he said he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life if the doctor tells you that you have cancer you can open your mouth and tell the doctor i don't have cancer if the doctor tells you you have a disease in your body you can open your mouth and tell the doctor by his stripes i am here there is power in your mouth there is authority in your mouth there is dominion in your mouth you don't serve a dead god you serve a mighty god he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever when god says yes no man can say no when god lifts you up no man can bring you down god is on your side power is on your side glory is on your side favor is on your side lift your one shot fire Take your seat. Ashada Bahandia. Tell somebody what are you saying? Do you know to be born again in this mouth? Are you aware? To become a Christian is what? His mouth. Romans chapter 10, verse 10. For the heart, man believes to righteousness, but with the mouth, confession. In Isaiah 50. Are you, are you tired of the Bible? <laughs> that this is my life will not get another thing. No. In Isaiah 50, verse 4, God's word says, I have given you a tongue of the land. In Isaiah 29, verse 21. He said, be him an offender in words. Lay a snare for him. Never. But the truth is this. You can only say what you know. Any Christian that doesn't know number of scripture in accordance with his age is a foolish person. If you are 50 years old, you should know 50 scripture. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Number of age. You just old, old, old. You can't go to one. <laughs> but you know everything. You know many of you spend your life on social media. Social media has killed the hunger of Christians for the word of God. Social media. Somebody sent me a message yesterday, a great man in the world. He said, please do not reply this person what he said against you. And I replied him, I'm not aware. He said, he said it, he said it up to two weeks ago. I said, I'm not aware. He said, are you serious? I said, because I don't. The Bible says in John 5, 39, search the scripture, not search the phone. I said, I'm not aware. Say what? I said, because I spent my whole life in the word of God. What God says about
about you is what you are i'm telling you god said be fruitful so the first fruit you must eat is the fruit of your word stop all this and uh, have you had people sorry if you're not if you're if you're uh, nigerian uh, have you had people if you're nigerian have you had people just sit down they say yeah you be like say i want sick uh, uh, have you had that before he said i'm feeling I, I, i'm feeling sick why would you say you are feeling sick a lady came to me and said daddy you know this is my sickness i said what he said this is my sickness i said it's your own he said yes sir i said that's you since god confess that consciously from today consciously i said what consciously guide your mouth words of reproach even words of pride in luke 12 there was a man that suddenly became rich the bible says from verse 20 21 22 he said he said my soul take thine ease eat and be merry he said but the lord said thou fool tonight this is your soul he said keep your money oh that your soul is my own you work hard for your money right okay did you work hard for your soul the word of god is what should come out of your mouth in the face of opposition when they give you a report when you stay in a place the ground is hard the land is hard everywhere is hard you will you will give that land genesis 26 22 that god's word said we shall be fruitful in the land i will be fruitful in thailand i'll be fruitful in malaysia i'll be fruitful in australia i'll be fruitful in china i'll be fruitful in india i'll be fruitful in pakistan i'll be fruitful wherever i come from my wife was pregnant five months our first child and she was bleeding heavily i came back one day and she said honey i'm bleeding in fact i saw some blood in the bathroom i said what's going on she said i've been bleeding i said okay can i eat something she said you didn't hear what i said i've been bleeding i said i heard you can i eat something you want to eat i said give me food let me eat i ate i climbed the bed and i slept in her mind she was saying what kind of man you can't even say sorry because sir i'm a spiritual man to say sorry means i admit there is a problem the next day she was going for antenanta i followed her. you know antenanta i followed her we got there the doctor said can you lie down he said doctor yesterday i said hey he says i went to the bathroom i said hey he said there was i said Shh. doctor check he did he did see baby is kicking everything is intact i said okay stand up let's go she said but doctor i said hey it, it must not come out of your mouth it must not come out number two thing god wants you to eat is the fruit of your labor in philippians 1 verse 22 paul said this is the fruit of my labor how can you stay in a place five years six years nothing is working now you now your head bad pass what did they do you you stay china you stay japan you stay Jap taiwan what didn't worry you you go taiwan they tie you once you you go japan they jump you you go uh, <laughs> china they chain you you go india they hinder you you go germany you jam needs you go italy you eat leaves waiting you are not the worst it's because you don't know that you are to eat the fruit of your labor better labor good work not criminal work
in Exodus chapter 3 I think verse 21 he said when you leave Egypt you, can, you shall not live empty you can't serve Jesus and be empty handed in Exodus 12 verse 35 and 36 he said and God gave the people favor that night he said and they spoiled the Egyptians they collected gold collected silver open your hand open your hand open your hand open your hand, open your hand. I prophesy upon you as you hear the sound of my voice in this land in that country in that continent wherever you find yourself wherever you are located wherever you do business wherever you reside wherever you serve your god wherever you are based after this night that nation shall produce for you that city shall produce for you continent shall produce for you you will eat the fruit of your labor you will eat the fruit of your labor as you return back whatever has not been working it will begin to work it will begin to work it will begin to work wherever you hear my voice your business will work your marriage will work somebody shout i will eat the fruit of my labor a brother the father died he's the first born in their family his father died he had four younger ones the father died and two months later they called him that the father was dead and they have buried him it was his friends that from the same village that called him and he said to them are you guys crazy how can my father be dead bury him i'm not aware he said stop that somebody has called him he said sorry we couldn't attend your father's burial we are sorry he said are you crazy he hung up someone has called him sorry your father died we could not attend his burial ah when the call was getting too much he called his younger brothers he said what is this call call i'm getting that papa died and they buried him what is all this nonsense why, why are they wishing papa dead they said oh brother sorry papa died and he has been buried you see what papa died me the first son i didn't hear you organized burial i didn't hear he died and you have buried him they say brother stop shouting even if we tell you what can you do Whenever you are coming from Lagos to the village, we have to contribute your transport fare back. So what would have given you as a transport fare was your own contribution for the burial. Fruit of, it doesn't matter your expertise, oh, even if you are a professional in your business, without the presence of God, You read Acts chapter 12, you read verse 10. The Bible said for Peter, he said, The gate opened of his own accord when the angel was with him. Angel was following him. Gate open. But if you go further, the Bible said he got to the house and saw a door and he knocked. Door didn't open. The first one, angel was with him. Gate open. Angel left. Door did not open. Do you understand that? Angel of God was with Peter and get open by himself. But when angel left, God remain. You don't understand. Without the presence of God, even the little things that should produce are hard. Fruit of your labor. Anything, anywhere you have stayed, you have lived any business you've done any place you've stayed any profession you've been back on for four years 
and nothing to show something is wrong maximum first year is introduction second year is testing the ground third year is discover your potential four years is balance after four nothing happen check yourself it's not normal fruit of your labor to eat the fruit of your labor sir <laughs> open your hand i just had something open your hand every hole spiritual hole in those hands that make blessings fall from your hands that hole is covered in the name of jesus Can I go on? I'm wasting time. Number three is the fruit of the womb. Fruit of what? Womb. Now I'm going to explain the dimension of fruit of the womb that people do not know. Fruit of the womb does not just mean having children, it's having children, raising them and eating the fruit of your labor from them not be just a born no. people have given birth to problems <laughs> you don't understand people have given birth to problem there are families to the only one child is better than some family that have 10 In first Samuel chapter 2, there's a woman called Penina. She was the second wife. Anna was the first. Penina had yeah, this Reverend Kinsley. Penina had 10 boys. How do I know? Hannah's husband asked Hannah, he said, Am I not better to you than 10 sons? 10 boys. The woman was just giving hip you, hip you, hip you. She was just producing hip hip one year, hip two. Ten children. Your father was saying, Am I not better than these idiots that you gave birth to? There are women that are taking any, I just touched it, but pew. If the husband, if the husband embraced them, they are pregnant. The husband just smile, <laughs> pew, pregnant. One smile, one pregnancy. But the children, nothing to show. And there's another class of people that never get pregnant. They never get pregnant. One man met me. The wife said the husband is not talking to her, to her. I said, why? The man said, I'm tired. Every night, do, 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 do. I'm tired. She said, nothing has come. He said, so what I don't want to do? I frown. I pick up a quarrel. He said, because my, my wife would tell me, oh yeah, oh yeah, ovule, ovule. I'm in my ovule, ovule. I'm in my ovule ovule. Say this ovule ovule. It's, it's not a code. Both of them now have code. Ovule ovule. So when? Tomorrow. Ovule ovule. Tomorrow. <laughs> ovule ovule. So the next, the man knows what it means. That is now ovulation. It's a good time to get pregnant. Bam! Nothing. The man said, I'm tired. Ovule ovule ovule. I want to die. In Psalm 113, verse 9, he said, He make it the barren woman to keep house and make her a joyful mother of children. In Matthew 3, verse 9, God's word made us understand that God can turn stones to children. So even if they say your belly has stone, it will turn to begin. Even if they said your stomach has a fibroid and they say you can't carry a baby they say you cannot be pregnant i prophesy upon your life as you hear the sound of my voice i see you carrying your baby 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 in psalm 127 i think verse 3 children i heritage of the lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them they shall stand against the enemy at the gate i prophesy 
you will not just give birth as you give birth your children will make impact those of you that already have children your children will be great your children will be great any power that has contaminated your child that has polluted your child that has manipulated your child i break that power i break that power i break that power i break that power take your seat how can you have a child academically is not doing well all he said is computer game computer game computer game horse is chasing hey, horse 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 i'm killing i'm killing i'm killing i'm killing kill. hey, kill. then you the mother rather than taking he said no that press this side kill that one that that's the mother advice you know kill that one hey you miss it hey yeah uh, kill 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 computer game computer game my children brought their result to me recently and i gave them gifts my my second daughter said daddy you are giving us this for this what we should do i said no take one of my children did 10 courses at 10 a's 10 course 10 a's the other one had eight a's the one that didn't do well at five a's that's that was fair enough where some are looking for one this one had five and when me and the mother sat down my father was talking to her he said, my father said i'm not surprised i'm not surprised we know where it's coming from I, I was smiling and my wife said me too i said eh? <laughs> because why i tell them i must not see you with a phone carry a book be productive have children that are productive not your children that are going about doing lion king lion the king they know all the cartoon mickey mouse <laughs> so i'm doing like mommy i'm doing like mickey mouse tell him no do like professor do like professor don't do like mickey mouse do like professor See me and we are pushing ourselves like Tom and Jerry. No, push yourself like accountant and, and surgeon. Children that be productive. Children that fear the Lord. If you know what children are doing, if you sit your children down and ask questions and they tell you things. Eh? Hey, hey, hey. You think they don't know anything? So I'm telling you, fruit of the womb is not only conception, delivery, raising. Did you know what they are doing? They, your, have your children said some things and you look at them, you are, you are wondering where it came from. Have your children said something? One day, <laughs> one day in my house, my wife was getting ready to go to church. I was not getting ready. I was just sitting down, shaking my head around my room. So my kids came, they said, ah, daddy is not dressed. After five minutes they came back mommy is dressed that is not dressed the third time they came that is not dressed one of them said okay i know why he said mommy is dressed because she's not preaching that is asking god to give him the names of people and their problem i say yay i say yay it's asking god to tell him the problems of the people so he can pray for us hey, whoa, i'm dressing up <laughs> another time i was tired i was late for church they ran to my room that you are not dressed i said no they go to the door said, okay it's like daddy doesn't have a message that have a new message today he i will ask their mother are you the one he said as you see that's what i see they are growing up speedily you miss a child from two to 12 you may have lost that child focus on your children it's not just conception delivery and what reason so what is fruit of the womb conception delivery say that to your neighbor conception delivery conception conception So if 
you are here and they say you can't have a baby no medical nonsense has the capacity to hold back your womb from giving birth to seed if jesus tarries to come by this time next year anyone believing god for a child you are pregnant already you are pregnant already i said god is giving you a miracle baby heaven is attending to you power is attending to you are you ready i said are you ready number four and then i'll pray the fourth fruit you must eat is the fruit of repentance repentance in life there are people who profess a religion they profess you know in luke chapter 3 i think verse 8 jesus said bring forth fruits worthy of repentance if you say you are born again let there be fruits you may not like me oh. i'll tell you what i want to tell you my return ticket is available i'll go back fruit of your labor fruit of the womb fruit of your mouth and fruit of repentance what is your problem how can one man one man you have wife you have five girls and you have one body your body is one your body is not five how can a woman married she has a husband she has somebody outside and you have one body how can somebody you may not like this truth but i'll tell you how can somebody be involved in drugs and he's praying for god to bless it father as i push this cocaine bless it lord i push this cocaine i don't understand anyone that said this is my business will not go forward holy ghost fire holy ghost fire fire consume the person fire kill the person fire kill the person kill the person what's the business cocaine fruit now let me say this to christian as a christian girl the first fruit of repentance is your dressing your dressing forget europe i've traveled around the world where you don't go where you don't go you came from nigeria to malaysia later you, you run here you say you have traveled where have you been to you came from Cameroon. you from limbe you run to dubai from dubai you run here where, where have you been to I was telling you pastor i said this is making 139 countries been everywhere i've seen black i've seen brown i've seen white i went to a country and i saw there be it's very natural to be short in that country <laughs> in first timothy chapter 2 i think verse 9 is that women dress modestly with shamefacedness meaning any woman who doesn't dress well has no shame genesis chapter 3 let me show you something in genesis 3 verse 7 eh? adam and eve offended god and they used leaves to cover themselves it exposed some part of the body if you read verse 20 and 21 god killed an animal and covered them well meaning god is interested in you covering got to dress well appear well as a lady appear well people left the, the world and they came to church they ran from the world they ran from club the ninth at church the problem there the young man is praising god he lifts up his hand to worship god he turned to his right somebody is chesting out he turned to his left somebody is bending the waist he turned to the back he look right attack he look left attack he look front attack everywhere attack he have to look up to the hills from whence comet is head. am i communicating here? attack everywhere when they are worshiping god that's when you want to go to the to the restroom with your eye here koi 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 every 
everybody is praying you must cause confusion koi koi and you see people worshiping god then sings my soul and they are koi koi my savior fruit of repentance number two fruit of repentance is your relationship <laughs> who is your friend second corinthians 6 14 be not to unequally yoke together with unbeliever who is your friend an unbeliever cannot be your friend a, a woman the husband the, the wife was advising the husband my husband this your business partner is not a christian no. you need a believer as a business partner and the man said shut up shush is shush business is business he's in prison now that is friend anybody who doesn't fear god cannot care about you even those who claim they fear god can't you see what they are doing the ones who claim that they fear god what controls people in relating with you is the fear of god in them because naturally everybody is selfish selfishness is not a problem it's self-centeredness that's a problem everybody self you all of you you are selfish everybody oh really you don't believe now if you take a picture with five people when the picture comes out who are you looking for who do you look for first if you are not fine the picture is not fine once you take a group photograph is out is yeah maybe you put your head down you say ah this picture is useless <laughs> <It's> you <laughs> or maybe because of the flash you shot you say, ah this picture we'll, we'll take it again no everybody gather will take this picture. why because you are so you can see that element but being, being self-centered is what you now say no everyone must gather being selfish is that reaction being self-centered you say everyone must gather no call everybody who will gather who will take this picture again that's been self-centered so when you are moving with people who don't fear god self-centeredness takes over them so you must be careful your relationship with god is what determines your relationship with a man your relationship with god is what determines your relationship with your friends your relationship with god I, I was when i was in school i used to stay somewhere and there was a man upstairs once i, I wake up and start praying that's when the man will start music it was those days of in nigeria from nigeria there's something called afro juju one sino peters or something you remember that period once i'm just worshiping god it is well it is well with my soul i will just hear again one time i went there i knelt down i said please sir can you play this thing before prayers or when i finish he said no why you they do your own i do my own <laughs> I parked out of that house i left that house i went to be squatting with somebody so i can have good time to pray in the night then daytime i will come to the house in the night i'll go and squat with somebody we'll pray together till morning in the day when i'm at home we won't play it let me just try to start speaking in tongues so you've got to be careful whatever we affect your relationship with god cut it off tell your neighbor cut it off I can't hear you say cut it off because people have desires there are people that can sell you for money i know everybody was in china who sold his kidney for laptop 
he wanted a laptop and they asked for kidney he gave one of he, he pulled his one kidney because he wanted laptop and of course you know what he wanted to do with it desires such a person can sell his mother so you have to be careful i pray for you as i hear this in my ears the lord is whispering there are people who have spent time some of us have spent time with their families in certain lands and nations and everywhere seems tough hard i prophesy upon your life by the power of the holy ghost after this encounter that ground we produce that ground we produce that land we produce that your amen is not a good one everywhere that has not produced before everywhere that has been hard before it will produce i say it will produce 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 anything open your hand open your hand anything your hand does i speak favor of god upon it i speak favor of god upon it are you ready to pray we're going to pray what's our prayer my father my father as i pray i will eat the fruit of my labor now if you are putting on glasses just take it off quietly and keep it if you are carrying a baby look for an alternative or you may sit down with a child while others are standing the power of god will hit us as we begin to pray for the fruit of our labor lift up your right hand to heaven say my father my father as i pray in the name of jesus I will eat the fruit of my labor i will eat the fruit of my labor open your mouth and fire prayers oh shit. there are powers fighting us from eating the fruit of our labor those powers are breaking now lift your two hands adabashanda say my father my father as i pray as i pray every monitoring power every monitoring power you are not saying that lot every monitoring power every monitoring power monitoring my life monitoring my life stopping favor stopping favor from coming to me from coming to me as i pray as i pray i speak to that power 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 i terminate your assignment 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 your mouth and fire prayer thank you for watching udeme fruitful channel